Alrighty, here we have Pyramid Quest being played into the Switch, courtesy of Antwiggler X. Antwiggler X, excuse me. <laughs> the, uh, the publisher behind the game. Uh, so we got settings. So we got sound and music. Now I'm not sure what I'm about. And then we got new game. I'll go ahead and just play the new game to reset my progress. Alright, so you got several stages to play through. We're going to play in stage one. So this game um, reminds me a lot of um, uh, Montezuma's Revenge or uh, the old style um, Prince of Persia games. So it's a uh, platforming game that has you playing as this little guy here that has to go through each stage gathering treasure, avoiding traps, um, avoiding enemies in some cases, depending on if, they have, if you have a weapon or not. Um, and depending on how much treasure you you collect, uh, how many times you die, uh, determines your score at the end of the stage. So you have the B button to jump, you have the X button to interact. Um, I like I like the art style. I think it's it's pretty unique. Um, definitely definitely pretty cool. Uh, the gameplay is really really fun. Um, definitely gives you a sense of of uh, exploration and quite a bit of depth. Uh, the stages are uh, the stages vary quite a bit. And I'm gonna say, oh. I try to jump over that bug and I end up getting killed. Nope. I'm gonna have to avoid him. I'm gonna wait till the team goes under here and then go this way. So this game definitely feels very much like um, uh, Monozuma's Revenge. And the way that it plays. Oh. Um. The only complaints I really have with this game is that you don't have a consistent attack. Um, I would like to have seen that. Uh, even if it's a limited attack. Um, some of the enemies, like the snakes, um, I've noticed do kind of blend into the back, blend into the, into the environment, which is how I just died. Um, but, I mean, other than that, this game's pretty decent. Uh, you do have to be careful with, um, <clears throat> with uh, how high you fall from because that will cause you to uh, lose your life like that that, that just killed me coming falling from that height killed me And it, it was like you killed by the bug at that point. You killed by the by the drop. Oh, I do have a weapon. I think I did. No, uh, weapons the A button. But once you use your weapon, that's it. Oh. Again, that snake. That snake uh, blended in a little too well. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> So, do you recommend this game? Yeah, uh, I definitely recommend it if you're a fan of uh, 
uh, Prince of Persia style games or uh, My Zimmer's Revenge, uh, Sydney Hunter, or games like that. This game definitely would would be right up your alley. Um, does have its problems? Sure, definitely does. You know, snake the snakes blend the blend the environment. Um, you have uh, limited weapons. And if you're not careful with the platforming, the platforming will kill you pretty easily. But uh, hey, other than those things, this game definitely is worth uh, worth checking out, in my opinion. Definitely lots of fun to be had. Oh! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, definitely a lot of fun. So, um, I want to thank n uh, X for the viewer opportunity. This game's pretty fun. Although, uh, it can be a bit frustrating at times. <laughs> um... Still, still a decent, uh, decent, fun platforming experience. So, uh, well, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.